if you notice with me here in the Hebrew you will see it says eel now maybe somebody will say to me well eel is a word mean God even used by the pagan this is true but eel is not a name it's just a word mean God and the Hebrew they are born of the Aramaic so it's very normal that the language coming from a language before it so eel is a word mean God Elohim Elohim Eel is the word mean God and in the old days in the ancient Hebrew the word Eel was Al which mean it was not Elohim it was Elohim you see how language change and that is kept in the Islamic religion as an example if we go and look at the names of Allah in Arabic we have the letter a L letter a L in Arabic is equal to the the but this is the language today the a L this is in the language today but where the names is coming from is coming from the ancient Aramaic which is a L which is equal to God if you look at the, all the names of the one they call him God Muslims they give him they say those are attribute you see Allah is not there you know in this list now Allah we see Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Al Malik, Al Quddus, Al Salam, Al Mu'min, Al Muhaimin, Al Aziz, Al Jabbar, Al Mutakabbir, Al Khaliq, Al Bari, etc. So here you will notice the first two letters in every word is A L. Many naive people do not know that A L here is not the; it is God Rahman, God Rahim, God Malik, God Quddus. You see A L? Do you see the A L? Al here, by the way, this is false. They say Ar, Ar Rahim because this is how it's pronounced. But the fact it is Al Rahim, Ar Al Rahman, Al Aziz, Al Muhaymin, etc. Al is a word mean God. Now let us go to the Quran. Now we learn that Al is a word mean God. And this is goes for the Hebrew, even in the Hebrew. Israel was not Israel. Israel was Israel. Israel is not Israel. Mikael is not Mikael. Jibreel is not Jibreel. It is Jibreel. Mikael. Israel. Now, if we go in the Quran, we go to the first verse in the Quran to make it easy. The first verse, not the last verse. Not we do not need to search. <clears throat> All right. Chapter one in the Quran. Read with me and tell me what's happening here. <clears throat> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين. Okay, let us zoom a little bit more so we can make it more clear. Do you notice that the two word Allah are different between the first verse and the second verse? Look with me carefully. Here we have letter A. Here we don't have it. It's gone. You cannot take a letter out of a name. You cannot. Like I name my name is a Christian. You cannot take the C. That's it. Christian is a Christian. So why the letter A is not exist in the second verse? Both of them it says Allah. But the second one it says Alhamdu Li La Li La. The first one pronounced as Allah. The second one, it says Li La. Okay, so what we have now? Let us uh, make it simple. Here we have Allah.
in the first verse and in the second verse we have li la how is that very simple because the first two letters are not part of the word so here they exchange Allah by Li. Li mean two. Al in the first word mean God. The first one we see in the screen, it's a word mean God. So here when we say Al, they are saying God La. Okay. If it's part of the name, we cannot take it off. That's it. It should appear in the second verse as Allah too, but it does not. Why? Because it's not part of the word. We can take it off. It's just a word meaning God before Allah. That will make him God. La. In the second sentence, it says, Alhamdu, which means thanks. Lila. Li means two. La is the name. So here we confirm that this is really a name. It's not a similar name for the moon God. It is. A name now let us see if it's the moon god or not because maybe it's the same like as I said like the word kiss in English it means dirty word in Arabic maybe it's just a coincidence you never know no we can not prove that easy maybe you forgot that the God of Islam have many stories and the Quran support those stories isn't it the Quran says that Allah He have three daughters and this is what the Arab believe Allah to al -Uzza. Let us go and see the daughters of Allah You see here we are not talking about a theory as you claim stuck with your theory That's stupid of you to say because the Quran confirmed that it is true. The Arab, they believe that there is a God. His name is Allah. And he have daughter are Al-Lat and Al-Uzza. Do you see the Al? They are goddess. This is what Al mean. Al-Lat. Did you ask yourself how Allah got daughters? Okay, who is the wife of Allah? Shouldn't you ask yourself such a question? Let us say that the word Allah has nothing to do with the moon God. It is not the moon God. It is something totally different. Okay, how in the world the Arab they come that there is a goddess, their name is Al Lat, Al Uzza. And you see, this is the Muslim translation, and they are the one who break it down for you, not me. Do you see it? This is the Muslim breakdown, not me. The Muslims think I'm very thankful. Thank you, Muslims, helping me. Allah al Uzza. Who are they, those Allah and al Uzza? They are goddess and they are daughters of Allah. And the third one is Manat. And the reason they don't have Al before it because supposedly this is the goddess of death. So here we need to ask ourselves, okay, who is, if we go and search right now in the mythology of religion, who is the God who have three daughters and their name is Allah and al Uzza and Manat? You will find that it is the moon God. Do a little search in, little, in the stupid Google and the stupid Google will be smarter than you. So when you say it's a theory, that is a false fiction statement of you. Because it's not a theory. The Arab, they worship him always as God who have daughters and he is the moon God. Somebody will say to you like uh, James White. He said, well, the Quran says don't worship the moon. The moon God worship is not worshiping the moon, you idiot. Moon is like the, every, every plant, uh, planet, sorry, or a star has God in control. So the moon god, it's not really the moon. They did not really worship the moon. They worship the god of the moon. They worship the god of the sun. So there's a sun god. And
and very interesting alhamdulillah let's talk about 1.1 right 1.1 or 1.2 alhamdulillah does it say uh, so uh, uh, what is hamdu hamdu means praise right yes. praise to ila it is not talking to praise lil is to hamdu oh, yes. is praise I have... <laughs> and la is the it is not talking allah I, ideally it should be alhamdu allah it is talking alhamdu lil to, uh, all praise to la and the, the the god of quran islam is la this is where we come to know alhamdu illa he doesn't talk about alhamdu allah and say la ilaha illallah if la is meaning if la is uh, meaning god then why we are saying there is no god but god i mean why we have to say two gods that's oxymoron that's that is oxymoron i mean this is meaningless right la ilaha illallah allah, allah that the real name of the god is la la if you do wikipedia it is still a moon god we could not wipe it out totally we, we have the yes i mean and and, and i would quickly add with this because we are talking about la uh, i'll come quickly in because when the quran starts it always starts just surah tauba is not like that but otherwise every each chapter starts with Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And in this, there is no Allah named. There is La again. Again, no, no, it is there is, Allah. It there is, is no there, Allah. There Even is, though there is, there, is there is an Alif, there is an Alif, but they are eating it. They are just showing it in Arabic to make a fool of people. But in fact, it is Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It is not Bis. Me, Bism Allah Rahman. No, no, no. That's that is a joke of the day, by the way. You can correct me if I'm wrong here. No, no. You are absolutely right. Can you uh, please show my notepad, and I will show you how you are correct and how X Y Z is correct as well. Yes, please, please. So, do so, so, so yes. when you say when you say Bism, right? Bism. It has to have Ba Ism. It then it will be in the name. Oh. So they are missing an alif. So you know, the, for the earlier 300 years, there were no diacritical marking, right? After 300 years, they added diacritical marking. So they will add a khari zabar over here to make it sound like alif is there. But but, but in reality, it should be written ba ism, ba ism in the name of Allah. If you do that, then it will become by ism Allah in the name of Allah Rahman Ar Rahim. If you remove the Aleph, even though that you are writing Aleph and Allah fully, you are not pronouncing it by the way it is written. So that's point number one. Now that's why you have two. to have that's why you have to have Bay Aleph C Neem to yes. make it in the name. Oh exactly. Exactly. Now if we go to the second point which XYZ wrote uh, XYZ uh, uh, mentioned Alhamdu Lillah. The problem is Alhamdu, Lilla means is Alhamad means all praise. Al 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 stands for the, okay, the praise. Hamad means praise. Okay, Lam the Lam stands for two. In the Arabic, the Lam stands for two. The praise is two. La. Oh my. Okay, so even if you check the uh, Google Translator, let me give you the Google Translator, uh, translate.google.com, and I will say English too. And let me just take a picture. Hold on, so that your viewers can see that I'm not lying oh, about it. Oh yes, them. my mominins do watch it. I know you are quiet. You watching so, this lecture of Adam? Wonderful. So I love it. This, you know, Google Translation too, Islam. Right. I just took a screenshot of my Google Translator because I can't switch the screen so fast. So Lam means two. So if you look at this, Alhamdulillah, Al the Hamad praises Lil Lam Zair Lil Lam Zair. Oh, sorry, oh, my bad. Lam Zair Lil two. The remaining part is La. So the name of your God is La. Do whatever you want to do. Otherwise, when 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 Muslimin actually has to write this Alhamdulillah. They have to write it like this. Let me let me show you that what is written in the Arabic and how you should write it, and and that that is another big mess for the Muslimin, quite frankly. So this is the verse of the Quran. This part, 
thank you xyz for bringing up this topic even though we are diverting from topic no, no, a lot no it's okay sometimes rules are meant to break sometime and it's okay we were also talking about spirits and so forth and I, okay. I, I, I gave you a link i gave you a link in the private chat for the wikipedia meaning of la you can pull that out pull this out in, in case you are sharing the screen okay so, i will yes, do that yes yes it's sometime it's good to change the subject if it is needed to change so it's okay just go for it it's okay it should wow. be written like this so this lam alif should be there this lam alif should be there right here so what is going to happen now is it will become al di hamad praises this first lam will become two and then you have a full allah so this should be written as there should be this part is missing from here hmm literally it is it just says alhamdulillah exactly alhamdu the praise is lil lam stands for two like i showed you two la the remaining part is just la there 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 are so many crazy mistakes in quran that you can't even name of the god of islam is la al yeah. is an old yeah al is an old ancient aramaic and ancient hebrew mm. al is a word meaning god let us type it l l yes l is a word meaning uh, god yiddish or real hebrew huh yiddish or real hebrew a uh, hebrew and aramaic the ancient aramaic and ancient hebrew and uh mm. la is the true name of the god of islam so al la al god la god la you see today in the new hebrew what they say they say isra yil right yes yil is a word meaning god in the old hebrew it was isra yal israel israel yeah ishmael was ishmael mikael it was mikael Gabriel was a Gabriel. So the the language had changed by time and Al became Il. So Al is the ancient one, Il is the new one. Like we Christian, we say that Jesus is Emmanuel, Il. But in the ancient Hebrew, it should be Emmanuel. So Al, has, has, Al is a word in the Aramaic or the, the Hebrew. It's not necessarily about the true God. It, it's any. It's a word meaning God. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, if you believe in that God, that make it make Him your God. So Allah is Allah. This is why, if you go in the Quran, you will find in chapter two, chapter one, verse number two, it says Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu. Let us go to the Quran, verse number one and two. Look with me in the screen. Yes, I'm looking. All right. It says here, let me zoom more so we can make it even bigger. All right. If you look here, you will see the following. Do you notice that Allah here is different? Here there's an alif. Here there's no alif. This appear. Which one was alif? The alif first Lami. one, verse number oh, yeah. one. Verse number one, there's Aleph. You see the Aleph? Yes, yes. Okay, let me make an arrow in it uh, so you can see it. Yeah, I see. All right. Here we have Aleph. Here the Aleph is gone. Why? Here it says, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Here it says, <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Li Lah. Okay. Let's type the first one. We will type the first one and the second one. Al Hamdu, the first one, Bismillah, Al La. This is the first one. A and L appear in the beginning of the word. The second one, it doesn't say Allah, it says Al Hamdu Li La. In Arabic, Li means two. Alhamdu li la. There's only letter L before the la. Mm. 
What what is the name of God? La. Li mean two. All right. Mm. So Hamid, you know what Hamid means, right? Hamid to who? Hamid. To La. That is the true name of the God of Islam. It is La. And you can search in Google, La is the moon god. The moon god? Yeah. You don't know? Moon god, huh? Yeah. You worship the moon La. god, my friend. Let me let me search for you in Google. Hold on. La is the ancient name of the moon god. This is have nothing to do with uh, the Christians the or in or, in, 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 or was it a literal name? Huh? Was La a title given to the moon god in the past? No, no. This is his name. This is, no, this, name? Is, this is this is his name. La is the moon god. La is a very well known name for the moon god. All right. Here, you will see all of those. Let me let me show you. No, uh, but the reason why the Muslims they use these moon symbols and mosque and stuff there yeah, is not something that dates back to the Prophet Muhammad. It's something that actually is just recent uh, because uh, because of the Seljuk Turks. No, not true. Not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, you see, here like this is a website. I'm not going to read the whole article. You can search yourself. Ya, la. Ya is another another word for God. The Christian they say Yahweh, Yahweh. Okay, Ya, la. Do you see the screen? Ya, la. The other Ya, la. Ya is a word meaning God. La is the name. Ya, la. What is the name? La. The name of what? Of the moon God. So how do you say God in general in Arabic? There is Just many words. Like there is many words. There is Rab, and those are not Arabic words, by the way. Arabic. There is nothing called Arabic, really. All of this is coming from other languages. Most of it is coming from the Aramaic. Like this is why you say in in Hebrew, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi. You know, Rab, Rab in Arabic mean God. It can be even my Lord, like Master. So many. There is many words, uh, but when you say La, it is a name. That's why the Muslims agree. That it is a name of, of, of their God, it's not a word meaning God, correct? Mm. It is a name, not a word meaning God, but well, it's still it not, depends. Accurate. not all Muslims take that, it's, it's a bit uh, all over the place. Some guys say God, Allah doesn't have names, He only no, has no, 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 uh, 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 Muhammad he made it clear that the best names of Allah is. Uh, uh, is uh, is uh, this is his name actually even the Quran if we go in the Quran you see this is the problem Muslims do not know anything about their cult 